Bryn Gringrass, a CNN correspondent, is Meghan Markle's friend. Many reports said that Meghan borrowed her son Gavin to take pictures. We belong to the people who have strong doubts that there is a child called Archie living with them in LA. So far, the most plausible hypothesis for us is that he doesn't exist, but was born to a surrogate who kept him after his birth. It would explain a lot of these things. Why they never take him out, why nobody ever sees him, the strange way they talk about him and why they never show pictures of him. On the other hand, the Queen and the rest of the royal family confirm his existence. But apart from that, they have nothing to say about him. Do these photos of Archie change everything? Are these the ultimate proof that Archie does live with Meghan and Harry, who for some obscure reason hide him the whole time? We really don't care if they used a surrogate or not. What we do care about is the sick lies, the game playing, and ultimately the real children who are caught in this mess. Innocent toddlers who are being so disgustingly used for fame and money. It's not the first time that other children were named in connection with photos and videos of Archie. The most prominent was the daughter of Violet von Westenhaus. The woman is said to have brought Harry and Meghan together. According to the rumours, she accompanied the couple on the trip to South Africa as nanny with his own daughter playing the Archie part. She should also be used for the photos with Archie. So far, it has not been proven, but it would explain a lot. So far, there's been only a handful of photos that seem to have been taken on a few, on two or three occasions. The image was published a few days before the Oprah interview was aired on the Twitter account of Silver Tree, a close friend of Harry's wife and who worked with her in suits. It was said to be an image of Archie and Harry's wife, as well as two other unidentified children. However, it is believed that it's actually Bryn Gringress's child, Gavin. In the latest news, Harry and Meghan are set to return to the UK next month, a royal expert has claimed they will not be bringing Archie and Lilibet Diana with them. Neil Sean said, According to a very good source, the real reason this is their words, not mine, why the children will not be coming over here to the United Kingdom, and we have to say at this stage, is that it is a working trip. It's not a trip for, you know, just meeting family and collecting and hooking up and all that sort of stuff. He added, because Lilibet and Archie will not be on the trip, it means the Queen will not be reconnecting in any form with her two great-grandchildren. Mr. Sean added, Obviously, they're going to miss them. It's quite a short visit. I don't necessarily think they'll be here in the country that long. The royal expert added that photos of the family of four might do the world of PR good and could sway the public's opinion of them. However, Harry and Meghan, like the rest of us, haven't a clue where Archie and Lilibet are. No one can see invisible children, so finding them could be difficult.